Hey guys, I hope everyone has had a great weekend and happy Sunday. Um, so today's lesson is about how Israel was rescued. Um, our memory verse is Psalm 27, 1, and I'll read that now. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? So that verse is telling us that if the Lord is your light and the Lord is your salvation, then what do you have to fear? That's all you need. Um, so I love, that's one of my favorite verses. And um, the whole point of this lesson is that God is sovereign. And sovereign is a word we use to describe God's ability to control all things. That He controls everything and, and accomplish whatever He pleases. So that's the word that we use to describe His ability to do anything and everything and to accomplish whatever He pleases. Think about a situation or a place that you need to remember that God is sovereign. So when you go to do this, you think about like when, where, what situation have you been in where you think that, you know, I need to really remember that God is in control of everything, right? And that he can do anything and that he's in control of everything. So if you're ever in a Worry, worrisome situation, maybe that's when you should remember that God is sovereign and He um, has the ability to control everything and anything. Um, so I'm going to jump on into our story. So the um, book of Esther highlights our need for deliverance. So Jesus is our deliverer. He is always our deliverer. He came to live a perfect life and die on the cross for our sin. That's what He came for. God raised him from the dead. Jesus delivers us from our old life of sin to a new life changed by his grace and mercy. So because of Jesus, we are able to, you know, be forgiven for all of our sins and live a great life full of grace and mercy. And uh, I'm so thankful for that. Every day I thank God for that. So um, going on into the story. And this is out of Esther 3 through 8. Okay, so there was a king who ruled the Persian Empire. He had chosen Esther to be his queen. One of the king's leaders was a man named Haman. Haman was an evil man. Haman decided that he wanted to get rid of all the Jewish people of the empire. So Haman did not want any of the Jewish people in the empire. So he made a plan and he convinced the king to make his plan a law. So his plan, he was actually, you know, not saying like, this is what I want. He was saying, we're going to make this a law, actually. Um, soon all of the Jewish people in the land were to be killed. So this was a very strict order from him. Now, Queen Esther's relative, Mordecai, heard about the new law and he tore his clothes and put on sackcloth. Esther heard about Mordecai's actions, and she was worried. She didn't really know what was going to happen after that. So Mordecai sent a message to Esther. He told her about the new law. Esther was also Jewish, but the king did not know that, so he was not aware that she was Jewish. Mordecai begged Esther to go and see the king and try to save her people. Mordecai even told Esther that this might be the reason she had been picked to be queen, so she could save all of her people. Esther knew that it was against the law to go see the king if he hadn't asked for her to come. But she knew that she had to go see him anyway. Esther, Mordecai, and all the Jewish people in the city fasted for three whole days. Then Esther put on her royal clothes and she went to go see the king. The king saw Esther and he agreed that she could come see him. He held out his scepter to Esther. Esther invited the king to a special banquet. She also invited Haman to the banquet. And the king and Haman both went to the banquet together. At the banquet, the king asked Esther to tell him what she wanted. He promised to give her anything, even half of the kingdom. Esther asked the king and Haman to come to another banquet after that one. Haman was very happy. The queen had invited them to a special banquet. The king had given him a special job in the kingdom. 
And his plan to get rid of Mordecai and the Jewish people was going to happen soon. So he was excited because the plan that he wanted to turn into a law was actually going into place, or he thinks it's going to. The king and Haman again went to a special feast prepared by Queen Esther. The king again told Esther, Whatever you ask will be given to you. This time Esther said, If the king is pleased, spare my life and the lives of my people. We have been sold out out to destru destruction and death. So Esther said, If the king is pleased, Spare my life and the lives of all of my people. We have been sold out to destruction and death. Who is the one that who created this plan? The king asked. So the king didn't know who was in charge of the plan and who came up with the plan. Haman, Queen Esther answered. So Esther told him it was Haman. And the king got very, very angry because Haman had came up with this new law and this new plan. So Haman was killed instead of the Jewish people. So instead of the Jew, all of the Jewish people being killed, Haman actually was killed. And then the king wrote a new law that would help the Jewish people protect themselves against the people who tried to kill them. Esther had interceded for and saved her people. So this story tells us that God is sovereign, okay? He... He can control everything. So this whole situation and when the when Haman was trying to make the new law and was trying to kill all of the Jewish people, um, it, God was in control. And he it was all part of his plan because he can control all things. And he is sovereign. So it is very important that we always remember this. You know, no matter what we're going through, we need to always remember that God can control all things. And, you know, we shouldn't worry about the day-to-day -day things And because He is in control and He can accomplish whatever He pleases. So I'm going to read our memory verse to you again one more time. And I want you to go highlight it in your Bibles. And then um, when we finally get to see each other again, you can bring it in. And we can go back over all the verses that we've been learning. So Psalms 27 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? So make sure you keep up with this memory verse. And um, I know some of you know that we have started church back and we're having outdoor service. So I hope to see you there. Bye.